Hi everyone! Welcome to another Jet Plugins tutorial. In this video I will uncover the functionality of Services widget from Jet Elements plugin. I'll show you how to display dynamic content and explain in details all the nuances. So let's start to explore Services widget. I'd like to show you the standard functionality. So I type in Services and drag the widget to the section. As you can see, the widget includes an opportunity to add an icon, title, description and a link as well. You can paste the information right here in the content block, but there is additional option which allows you to pull out the content dynamically from the backend to frontend. You see here is dynamic option, so I can click and insert the content from the meta boxes. Note that you should create metaboxes previously using Jet Engine plugin. I will explain it in details soon. One more thing I want to emphasize is that in case you have Jet Theme Core plugin installed, you can also insert the services block from the magic button library. You need just click here, navigate to the sections. Scroll down and find services block. So this is how it looks. Ok, this was general illustration. Now let's switch to step-by-step -step instructions. I have custom post called photo session and here are meta boxes which I have created before using Jet Engine plugin. If you don't know how to create meta boxes, follow the link in the description down below. So I need to create three blocks of services. Thus, I have three meta boxes with photo session type, description of session, and portfolio link, and the same for the next two blocks. Also, I already filled in the content to the each field. And my next step is to open my single template for this custom post. I have already added the static content. And now my task is to enrich my template with the services block. So I click magic button, proceed to services and insert this template. So good. Now, as I have only three types of services, I delete not necessary blocks. So, good. Now we can start pulling out the content. Click Dynamic, Custom Field, and in the Field block, select the title of your first meta field. As you can see here. This is the title of your first meta field. So I select photo session type and, and you see that the title is pulled out successfully. Now let's jump to the description. I also click dynamic, custom field and here I select the description of the session. And you see that the description is also pulled out. Also, I add a link dynamically and select portfolio link and add some text. Okay, this is pretty good. And don't forget about an icon. You can find suitable icon in the icons library or remove it if necessary. In my case, I got the suitable icon for my first services block. Okay, good, I'm pretty satisfied. Now I'm going to do the same with the other blocks.
Well done! We have successfully completed our task to pull out the content dynamically from the meta boxes. And now I suggest my services block will be more attractive with images. So I use standard Elementor widget called image and drag to each section. Ok, good. Now I'm going to add images to each block. Let's have a look on my post template. Ok, good job! The last thing I want to remind you is that in order to create such services block and display dynamic content, you need Jet Elements and Jet Engine plugin. Also, if you want to use Magic Button library and create templates for your custom posts, you need Jet Theme Core plugin to be installed. So that is pretty much for now. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have questions, please leave the comments down below. Good luck!